<laughs> this has been a long time coming and I can't believe it was wrapped up in a bag, in a box, wrapped in bubble wrap by the cutoff and then in a Ziploc bag and then in paper. The company wanted to send me the raw board of this and I'm like, can you just wait till it has a, a box around it? And they're like, all right, that makes more sense. This is very, very mirrored. Wow, they shine the crap out of it. They knew this was coming to Zeos. Made in China. Um, but, but, balanced output. I specifically asked for the balanced version. This is the uh, fully digital headphone power deck V2 by E1DA, I think. Can we say that? Yes. And it's, here's the thing, it's a power DAC. It's a very nice case, by the way. Other than being like a face reveal monster, that's really, they polished the hell out of it. Here's a diagram showing how all the things go. And it's a DAC, it's a full size USB on the side and a two and a half millimeter balance on the other. And it's just a DAC. But it's a DAC powerful enough to power headphones. That's, that's what they're going with. It's not a headphone DAC with an amplifier built in. It's a DAC that just outputs enough current to push your headphones and it comes with a, um, he just finished the Android app today. He sent me the message like, hey, you can install this Android app now to use it with your power DAC. And it actually has the most insane amount of like presets. Like he literally said, I don't really like ACDC. And he knows I like ACDC. He's like, yeah, so I tested out. I know you got four XXs and I have 400 I's and they're roughly the same. So there's gonna be a profile you could load that'll fix ACDC for your four XXs. And I'm like, well, shit. So review of this coming up is probably gonna take me about six months to figure out actually how to make everything go with it. Especially since I have to get it's got an app for my phone, but it's a full-size USB, so I'm gonna have to get an, I have to get an adapter. Oof! I gotta buy some Sturf. Sturf needs to be bought. In. Mega, mega unboxing today, by the way. You are. Aha! Uh -huh. So Anchor messaged me. Anchor the company. Anchor, they make my batteries that I use for my uh, video streams and everything. Anchor, love Anchor. Have a set of Anchor headphones. Actually, a set of Empow headphones. Anchor sent me blue I am IMs, little wireless IMs. I was like, eh. So they sent me a couple things because I was like, hey, and I've told them I unboxed them for them. Discover the Google Assistant in your car. So now here's the thing. I'm pretty sure I know how this is gonna work, but I wasn't hundred percent sure and I want to try it. Because I'm in my car all the time and I'm I if I have to ask my phone something, gotta wake my phone up and ask it Google Assistant. So let's see if this, which is very nicely packaged, I might add. The Rove. Let's see if Rove. Actually, for 12 volt, I wonder if I could power it in my, in my house. We're going to get started, everybody. Everybody! Okay, plug Rove into the socket. Turn on your car. And your Android for Bluetooth pair with the Rove, so you Bluetooth pair to it. After pairing, follow the instructions that appear. So it has to have my phone inside to make it happen. I thought you would have to Wi-Fi share your phone. Oh, it's smooth. So it's got two USB outs. It's very well built, three and a half millimeter out. So you could plug it in. Plug in your cigarette lighter, auxiliary port, Google Assist button. Oh, that has a physical button. It's actually a hidden physical button because it's on this perfect thing. Obviously can't test this out here, or well, comes with a three and a half millimeter aux cable. The question is, how bad is it? Like I can tell you, it's going to be janky. You don't stick an aux cable in a box like that. Oh, yep, it's tiny. It's tiny. Oh, get back in there. Get in there. Okay. So you got a right angle. Actually, it's a nice right angle. It's going to be janked to hell because it's just folded into this little tiny area. Wow, that's a stiff wire tie. But you would just go this. And then I think you could push aux into it. I'm assuming aux in, or is it aux out? Out into your stereo, or player into this. And then this attaches, but you're using Bluetooth. 
I don't know how this thing's gonna work. We're gonna find out though. I will report back. I have a couple more driving videos coming up and as soon as I figure out if I can install a cigarette lighter in my car, we will play with the Rove. What else came here? Ah, Mr. McCall. Periapt here. And Periapt hasn't sent me something in a long while. And they were sending me everything. I was their beta tester for all the headphone cables in the world. And we met at Rocky Mountain. I didn't like his shirts too much. And then we left and it was fine. The shirts were, need, need design work. You really need to make them pop. So he sent me a new cable. Straight from Kansas. Here's our piece of paper showing that it is certified. A Type 14, which I'm still getting used to the whole thing. It is a five foot purple Pro XLR. And I know exactly what it is because I have to look it up because no one knows what a Type 14 is. Let me tell you what a Type 14 is. It's a BLT. Actually, this is how I get my sandwiches wrapped up. It looks exactly like, like we get like an egg salad and they use this paper. But either way, we're opening the rest of it. Oh, baby. This is a cable that I've been waiting for for a long fucking time. Purple. Five foot. XLR. Fostex connectors. I'm finally going to be able to use my 909s balanced. I have not been able to. I have yet to be fucking able to use my TH909s, the most amp dependent headphones. Correctly, because these are Sennheiser connectors, aren't they? No! Don't be stupid, that would be too easy. These are Sennheiser connectors reversed and then with different length plugs. So you can use a Sennheiser connector in a Fostex pair, 900s, 909s, things like that. The problem is you get the positive negatives are reversed and while that shouldn't make that big a difference, it sometimes makes a difference. And on those, I would expect it to make a difference. So this, I'm going to use this approximately 14 seconds after I finish this unboxing and shut off the camera. I'm probably not gonna send that back. This has been tested, sealed, tested with the TH610s, tested with Soundgarden Black Hole Sun. I talked to Periapt about the Rocky Mountain Room and they're like, what do you guys need? And I'm just like, I don't know yet. So as soon as I know what we need, they'll know what I need and maybe they could throw in some RCAs for uh, giveaway stuff. I think I know what's in this box and I think Post is gonna have a hell of a time finding that link that I sent you via Telegram the day that Nubbers and them ordered it. Yep, here it is. Three things got ordered yesterday on my live stream. Two of them on purpose, one of them because people on my live stream and in my vent are a-holes. So we've got a new Echo Dot, which is rather heavy for what it is. The new Echo Spot, which has that bitch in it. And finally, it finally happened. I didn't think it would ever happen, but it finally happened. The people in the Ventrilo who have the ability to move users between channels started screaming out, Alexa, Add dildos to my cart, Alexa. Add this to my cart, Alexa, this to my cart. And they screamed out, add lube to my cart. And it did. So I was literally placing an order for these two things while I was live streaming, because I didn't want to forget to order them. Because I got the other apartment I need to have her in there. And as I clicked, buy it now with one click, seconds before, it mistook by 55 gallon drum of lube for buy lube, and it bought lube. And it added it to the cart. I didn't see anything happen on the screen. I just clicked buy now. And then I went back to check in case a 55 gallon drum of lube was added and it was not. So link to Joe H. Show personal water-based lubricant, the giant one apparently. And I let it go through because it was just too funny. If I would have canceled that order, it would have been, it would have been, that's a waste. So now I have a giant 16 ounce thing of lube. So thank you. Um, who was there screaming? Was it Nubbers was definitely there. I'll just blame Nubbers. I'm just gonna blame Nubbers. And we're gonna move the fuck along. So. <laughs> Echo Spot and Echo Dot. Now I've got 
three dots in this apartment? Wait a second, as an, as an arrow. Oh, I just have to pull it. Get it? How wooed. And I'm this is my first spot. Uh, spot. Now the Echo Dot is basic. And this one's actually going in the living room here because the one that's in the living room here is stupid. And I want the highest, newest generation. Wow. That son of a bitch has girth. What the fuck did they do? I haven't had one since the original one. Like I haven't tried any of the newer generations and this is... Okay. That, for whatever reason. What was it? What? It didn't even cover the entire thing. What's the point? Wow. Rubberized base now. Like, ru like rubberized. Like rubberized. Cloth outside. So now the speaker doesn't come out through like little holes on top. You could actually radiate. I think. I don't have to get a flashlight through it. Smooth top. Positive, negative, power, dot. That's, that's nice. Power is one of these. Power's there. It's not USB anymore? Was it USB before? Is it USB? It was USB. It's always done been USB. Oh, that's sort of lame. Oh, and they're doing this shit with this shit again. Let's peel this shit off this shit. Oh, great. I'm so glad it's shiny plastic. Why, um, why? Why Amazon? Amazon, why? Now I'm going to take my knife and try not to cut my hand off as I slice this. So, now the new Echo Dot, and I'm presuming it's going to work, and if not, they're going to just take it back without this because they're Amazon. I don't, I can't power with USB. I want, nice rubber band, holy crap. That's a legit cock ring. Like, that's, that they actually give you one to put around your phallic member to end the blood flow. That's great. That's great news. Everyone needs one. This is a 15 watt, 12 volt. Okay, so they went, this thing's gonna kick ass and take names then. That's that's a huge upgrade. The egg? That is a huge upgrade from the half amp five volt to go to this. I wonder what the speaker is gonna sound like in that. That's crazy. So we've got 12 volt, 1.25 amp. Holy bejesus. And it's a nice wire, it's a little janked, but it's got a big... I wish this had a pass through on the back of it. If they were really smart, Amazon, you're paying attention? If you were really concerned, because I have a limited number of outlets in the other apartment, I'm gonna have to get power strips out my ass. But if this could plug in and then you had like the pass through like Christmas lights do, that'd make my day. I am gonna have to use this though. It's not like I could just, all my other ones on like, Alexa, what's your name? My name is Alexa. See, my name is Alexa. Um, that's just a USB. So I just took the actual thing and I shoved it up there and I plugged a USB because I have a USB power, like a six way USB power thing for all these network stuff that's all USB. It was great. So now this is gonna require me to actually tether this monstrosity to it. So I cannot, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm this is, twice, two and a half t times heavier than the standard one. I'm interested now. And I'm going to keep the Echo Dot News because that's going to probably tell me how to pair it. I've been a while. So now, let's undo the Echo Spot. Which I spent more. This was over 100 for this one. And and she's bad. I should get a Google Home. Don't tell her that, though. Um... But this, I bought this specifically because it's like an Echo Dot. Three buttons on top. Here's your array of microphones. Here's your plug. It's going to be the exact same plug. Rubberized bottom. I don't know what this is. What is this? I picked that out. Oh, that's for the stand. You had an optional stand to have it like rotate. But this, and I'm going to probably turn this on in a second. The fascia will become an old analog clock. And that's what I want next to my bed. New bed, new apartment, want an analog clock face. More cock rings. You could really go to town now. Can I take this off in a better way than I did last time? Amazon, how do I do this? 
Show me. Show me the way. Do I peel these off, front and back? All right, there's one. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, and one more. So you get the same exact 12 volt, one and a quarter amp, decently sized transformer. So I can't mix them up, they're exactly the same. That's good. But then this thing, let me turn it on. Let me turn it on. Yeah. Oh, I can't turn it on until I plug it in. I'm thinking it's battery power because it's so fucking heavy. It's again, super fucking heavy. This must be where it emits sound out of the base. But the fascia here is a screen, just like this woman's on here and she's having a phone call or something. You got a picture of a baby, show the nursery camera. Cool. Uh, play the Moonlight trailer. I wouldn't watch a trailer on this, it's a round screen. Play 90s music and it's got lyrics and stuff. This is gonna be interesting because I saw a couple of screenshots of it. You click the Amazon link, look at the webpage, and it shows an old school clock dial or it shows digital with the weather. I just want to wake up and no shit. And this has a camera in it. So I can't be naked in my bedroom anymore. So there you go. That's the end of that review. No longer be naked. Just nudity is out of the question. Uh, what am I kidding? I'm naked all the time anyway. Pasta. What do you want, Pasta? How you doing? Making poor choices on Twitch. Sad, sad times too. Um, ew. My face would be in the thumbnail. Pasta's in the thumbnail. She'll, don't edit this, baby. You're fine. Accept beauty and compliments. All right, I'll keep the echo spot because that one's going to take a second to figure out. I want to make sure it works and it's worth it. That's done. Moving along. This way is absolutely nothing. Wait, this is one of the one with the, um, yeah, this one's got battery warning on it. Basically, this is just a box of batteries. This should take about one second to unbox. I'll get along so Pasta doesn't lose your mind. Pasta sit here watching this. Oh good, I'm glad they um, efficiently used space. Look how efficiently it's spaced. That's, a, that's, I'm sorry, I have to put that in the corner. That's, that's just, that's the most efficient use of space I've ever seen. I can mail a set of headphones in this, so thank you for the free box, Amazon, that's great. They needed to put that fucking warning label on it, and they probably can't do that with an envelope, because this was totally an envelope. And these are these size batteries. Little baby ones, and they got I got good ones, Panasonic CR2s, industrial lithiums. And these are I have a door sensor, an original door sensor I never used for three years, and it the battery died because I didn't use it for three years. Actually, it wouldn't have mattered if I used it for three years, the battery just fucking died. So I went out and I bought a like one, two, three, four, six. Can't lose this now. Six batteries. So I'm gonna get some other door bat door sensors. Oh, don't lose those. And that should be fine. Now this is the other thing that Google sent me. Or not Google, but like Anchor sent me. Cut towards your body, not your body. Cut towards your body, not your body. Make up your damn minds. I'm gonna cut whichever way I feel safest. I feel safest as the blade's not traveling towards parts unknown. So they sent me that, which is the car, oh, the car Google Assistant. Which I guarantee you will still be better than, than Amazon Echo. Shh. This is their new Eufy camera. And in fact, I should probably open this in another unboxing. Because it's going to take a second. So, be right back.